ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon, also known as Brandman. Welcome back for yet another StarCraft 2 replay. Today, I have a replay that was uploaded by a user, one of the users in this game. It is Zadeth, and he is going to be spawning down here in the bottom left-hand corner as the red Protoss player. And he says it's going to be a good game with something in it. I'm not going to say because we'll see it pretty pretty quickly. Uh, I have not seen the replay myself, but I assume we'll see the build pretty quickly on, or pretty early on, and um, we'll be able to see what he's doing, and he said it's good, so I'm looking forward to it. And then over here in the top left-hand corner, his opponent will be the blue Protoss player, Biddle, who has one of the most exciting names to say. This is apparently in Silver League, so who knows what could go on here. Um, should be a pretty good game. Again, I'm. He said it's interesting, so I'm. I don't know what to entirely expect. Uh, now we do see a forge coming down right off the bat. Uh, I believe my last replay I cast was Bronze League. I'd have to double check that. But from what I remember, that game, there was a Bronze League player who put down a forge first, and I was like, "Oh, look, cannons!" And it didn't happen. So Biddle, don't. Don't fail me. Maybe we'll see cannons this time. Biddle setting out this probe, so we may just see it. Zedeth, uh, looks like he checked down to expansion. Uh, he did not send that probe entirely out just yet. He's setting up a double assimilator play here, and also has his first gateway coming along here. Seems like he might try to hide a pylon back here, maybe hidden structures or something. A Biddle getting awfully close to the base here. Again, I'm really hoping I'm not wrong. Maybe this replay, Biddle, will not fail me. Please, Biddle. There is the pylon. Okay. There's the pylon. We saw a pylon the last game, too, but we did not see that cannon. Well, the, the suspense grows. We'll see. Cybernetics core down here for Zedeth. He wants to make sure that's down. It seems like Biddle, yeah, it's just sticking to it. Only has the forge there. Looks like the first cannon, second cannon. We do officially have two cannons down now. Now what will Zedeth do? He sees it right away, notices those two cannons coming down. A third cannon, or excuse me, a pylon coming down. This way he can put cannons down here as well and kind of just peek up here. It looks like Zedeth is going to be putting down a pylon up here. And here comes another pylon. Um... I think he's trying to, whoop, Biddle get stuck back there, might actually be able to kill off this pylon. This pylon, if it has vision up here, it could cause a lot of havoc, because cannons can fire up, has total vision, we'll see, ooh, and the cannons do actually get vision up there. As long as he's able to stay right out of range, he shouldn't have too much trouble here. It looks like Biddle's just sticking to it, he only still has this, uh, the forge, and, uh, if we look, yeah, Zedeth, he's sticking to it, I mean, Zedeth getting a, a photon cannons of his own. Second pylon down up here. He has that forge. It looks like he actually canceled that cybernetics core to be able to get the forge, which may not hurt him all that bad. It's probably not as negative as it seems because Biddle really at this point doesn't have anything. Um, he only has that forge. He's throwing down his natural expansion, which shouldn't be too bad. But as long as Zedeth handles this pretty well, I mean, technically he could just start building up an army here. Biddle heading another probe up into that base. That photon cannon will be able to kill it off right away. So it doesn't look like Biddle will be able to do anything. A second photon cannon down here at the front. Looks like this pylon will end up getting killed off. And essentially these two photon cannons will be rendered pretty useless. Biddle not doing much. Um, gateway coming down. Two assimilators. We look at Zedeth. He's finally getting that cybernetics core down now as well. Mining two workers and now three workers in each gas. So just starting to build up that gas there, as we can see, he already has quite a bit built up. So it looks like he's in a pretty comfortable position. Biddle, throwing down pylons down here at the natural. That natural will be finishing up in probably just a few seconds here. Uh, has both of those assimilators finished up. We'll probably start mining from both of them very soon. And we'll see, yep. And it looks like maybe start producing some units. But whoa, two Stargates down from Zedeth now. Looks like it's a complete turnaround here. Zedeth, I mean, could do a lot of damage here. He could get Oracles out. There's really nothing to defend. He doesn't even have a Cybernetics Core, I believe. Uh, cybernetics Core coming down now. So, I mean, really, unless if he got some Photon Cannons back here in the back, he could get some Oracles, cause a lot of damage economically for Biddle. Or um, go straight for Void Rays, cause a ton of damage. Either way, I mean... 
Biddle is just far and just far behind and not even catching up. He's producing two additional gateways at this point. So a potential catch up possibly, but I really, I mean, Biddle, you're, you're behind. I mean, Biddle's catching up economically maybe, but uh, I don't know. I think he's just over dedicated that for, or not even over dedicated, but just didn't do anything to back it up. Only got those two uh, photon cannons down and really can't do much more than that and it looks like we do actually have those two void rays I was talking about coming out now one stalker on the way now as well and let's see yep the two void rays will be able to completely avoid the photon cannons Biddle's pretty much completely blind here doesn't even know what's going on this could be devastating I mean here we go we have another gateway coming down so Zdeath might start building up his ground force Especially with 75% of the way done here with the warp gate research. And I don't think warp gate research has even begun for Biddle yet. So we're just kind of stuck here watching Biddle not being able to do much. He has two robotics facilities coming along the way. But he's stuck. Not much he can do. These two void rays out now on the field. A third one coming along the way now as well. Zedeth has enough of an economy that he'll be able to build that up. Looks like he's also getting a mothership core out now as well. This could be devastating, especially if you use Time Warp really wisely right here on the uh, mineral lines. And Biddle, I mean, does he have any units? He has 47 probes. That's not going to do much against uh, two Stalkers, three Void Rays, and a Mothership Core. Are the Stalkers actually coming along? I think they're just sitting, yeah, at home right here. This is a little bit of base defense. Here comes the attack. And again, absolutely nothing uh, a robotics facility coming along the way, but I, he's just teching up at this point. He's not even doing anything. He has two immortals. Okay, here comes the first units, but that's the thing. He hasn't done anything aside from just kind of tech up and start getting some of this research done. Uh, Bill's just behind. Hasn't really followed up with much. Got the economy. Mothership Core here won't do anything against air units. Zedeth. I think is just going to come in here and be able to kill off a ton of units. Throw down a time warp there and then just use that uh, that ability here. This uh, prismatic alignment is what it's called. He was just going to be able to go ahead, charge those beams up, cause way too much damage. I think the mineral line is pretty much just ended here. Still additional void rays coming along and more gateways for Zedeth. Hasn't expanded yet, but again, shouldn't be too much of a problem for him. Looks like he'll head in here. Doesn't really need to worry about those... Um, pylons will start focusing down this base here and this base is just definitely going to go down no question about it biddle doesn't really have anything to defend against this except for two immortals with two more immortals or ooh, looks like observers so he's got two immortals and two observers nothing much you can do with that looks like he does throw down the time warp doesn't really focus down any units we'll be able to get off the pylon kill there so no warp gates currently available two warp gates just finishing up now looks like maybe he'll be able to start producing some uh stalkers maybe but I don't know. There's nothing you can do. Completely useless units on the field. Void Rays quickly will gun down those, and the Immortals are just dead. Nothing happening here. Immortals go down. Another Prismatic Alignment comes along the way. Just unpowering those pylons. Probably be able to kill off this base. It looks like at this point, Biddle has nothing to fend off against this. Zedeth pretty much won the game. Powered down everything except for one of these sets of pylons here. Actually... Now it's completely done. Biddle just has nothing to do, and this force from Zedeth ends up winning the game. So GG comes out, or I guess that's not GG, but I'll consider it GG. Um, Biddle leaving the game, I'm just not following it up with much. I mean, he has a ton. He had that economy, quickly threw down that base, realized he couldn't do much with that photon uh, attack, but really, I mean, didn't follow it up with anything. And because of that, he threw down the base and then just didn't produce anything. He had plenty of time. If we look, it's 12 minutes, 20 second mark. He would have had a ton of stuff to just make stuff. And he didn't. Uh, he just has over 2,000 minerals sitting and 800 gas. I mean, he has plenty to do plenty with. But he didn't do anything. And Zedeth just took advantage of that. He's like, listen, I'm going to just make some void rays and kill you because you don't do anything. So Biddle, I mean... 
not following it up too well. Zedeth just goes, okay, well, I'm going to roll over everything. And that's just kind of how the game ended. So congratulations to Zedeth for winning the game. Thank you all for watching. Please like the video, maybe even favorite. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. New uploads every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Leave a comment down below what you think on the game. Share the video around, and I thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.